Hello and welcome to yet another of these print and play games. Now this one is both solo, you can be solo but you can also be together with others because as with other games like Super Skill uh, Pinball, you can share the dice but you can print different things and thereby also get different types of uh, score. It's easy. You are going to draw a village and there should be houses, forests, lake and if you're lucky you have a square. There's only nine turns and you collect the sum of those points here and then you get these ones. A square, I can tell you that immediately, a square is 10 points if you have a lake, a house and a forest. All three types must be around, somewhere around. And it's not diagonal. However, there is some other stuff you have to do. First, we do a preparation. So, we start with rolling two dice, we get a four and a six. Now, these are free, freebies, these two projects. So, yeah, we are going to have in row, column four, somewhere, are we going to have number six, a lake. We are going to have a lake somewhere in this one. Now, these are points and we want points, so I'll put that one there. And then we are going to have in column six, we are going to have a four. A four is a house. And I need three points, so I make my house up there. These are freebies and they are not counted towards um, these turns. Now, Someone of us rolls again, and each time we do that, we have, again, same things. Here we have column four and a forest. Um, since I want to have as many houses in a row as possible, I'm not going to put any forest there. I'll put my forest here. And then we have yet another house, because we have a four, and that means that we are going to do like this. Because if I can connect these, even downwards, then I can do uh, get more points in each round. Okay, how many points do I have? Yeah, I have three, four, five, six. That's what I got. Now, perhaps the other players didn't get that, but they might have done something else. And we go to the next round, and we get a two and a three. Column two and a lake. Well, same thing goes with these, but since I want to have a square somewhere, Perhaps I'm going to have a lake there, uh, a forest there, and a house there. Like I put a square there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Column three needs a forest. We already have that, so that's okay. Now we count. Oh, I just did a wrongy. I just did a wrongy because. What was the numbers we had? We had four and five, right? I can only get the points in the total number, so I can only get one. This time I can only get in that row, and that's a zero. <laughs> I should probably have this in my place PMP. And the third one, because the star because of the star. Now I can see now that the total is six, so I'm going to get points for that row. I need to think, hard as it is. Uh, 
Perhaps I don't want to. Now, if I put a house here, I can want my square here, and then I have all three. It gets me 10 points. That would be fine. Plus, I'm going to get a single point. Uh, and then in row four, we are going to put a forest. Um, well, I think I'll take that one downwards. Good. Next up is the star. Uh, which means that I can put any of these three. I can choose one of them. If I can get more points, for instance, then perhaps that is a good thing. So, if I just, just for fun, put a forest here, and then I cross that one over, because it's not going to be used anymore. And now when I count the points, I have one point here, and then I have a whole bunch of forests together. So I count zero, one, two, zero. I have two more points, so I get three points. Yay! That's not much, I can tell you that. And then you continue, and then you start thinking, where should I put next one, and so on. There is one thing we need to know, and that is, if we can't get uh, the things that we said, um, I think there is some sort of um, I think if if you have a column that is full, you are, you are allowed to get that that thing on either side of that column. So let's say that we have filled column four, then you can put your whatever it is in five or three so you you keep on filling and in the, the end you are going to have a lot in the middle but perhaps as you can see i have nothing in number one i sat while i was eating at my work and I played three or four of these during my break. And I had a lot of fun laughing, rolling my dice, and all my colleagues came and wondered, are you crazy? What are you doing? Are you playing cards? Nope. <laughs> Just rolling the dice. <laughs> no one, which actually made me a little bit distorted, distorted. No one asked what it was. Yeah. Alas, that's how it is. This is one of my absolute favorites. All categories. It's a 9 out of 10 without even bothering. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>